Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our third video of the evening and we are checking out our first Innistrad Crimson Vow set booster box. And I'm very excited because I love the art cards and of course set boosters are the place to get them. Now one thing I'm very curious about this product in particular is I just finished opening up a half case of collector boosters. If you guys missed that video, I'll link it right there. And the actual pack wrappers felt a lot different than I was expecting. So I'm curious if perhaps the actual materials used for all of the packs changed or if it was just the collector booster so this video of course we're checking out the set booster up next we'll be checking out a full draft booster box as well curious to see what those physically feel like up next but anyway set booster box here our first of the channel because i didn't get to open up any crimson Val last weekend for pre-release weekend since we're running in-store events again didn't need to keep the kits because we weren't sure how many people were going to show up and also set boosters i believe are the sellable product for pre-release weekend so we need to make sure we had everything in case anybody was interested but pre-release weekend has passed. Pre-release kits are now available on the site for personal breaks. And we do actually have a couple scheduled for this upcoming weekend's live stream and for Friday as well. And I do want to mention, speaking of events, even though this is a standard product, it is modern legal. And Titan is hosting our first in many years of a store championship the first week of December. So if you guys want to learn more information about that, if you're a player here in the Tampa Bay area, I would love to drop by. There is more information about that in the community tab. And I also updated the website with that information as well but check out the community tab for quick reference if you guys want to learn more about that upcoming modern store championship on saturday december 4th enough about that let's go ahead and jump on into this set booster box by snapping us into the corner and let's get started now we didn't see uh, a regular soren we didn't see a showcase soren we did not see any chandras whatsoever and we did not see any regular kayas in the collector booster so ooh, what's that it's like a little poster Ooh, I like that. I like the presentation here. Look at that. And thankfully, since the box didn't get roughed up around the corners, this is actually in great shape. But I like how the box topper is just sitting there. All right. Oh, it's attached. Ooh, this is actually really cool. I like this. Olivia on the back. All right. So one thing that I'm a little concerned about is, as I was mentioning, when we got started with the collector boosters, these single pack box toppers stress me out a bit because I'm always worried that... Uh, they're going to get creased as I open it, just because the pack itself is so flimsy, being only one card. Tiny knife here, destroying the little sticky, sticky booger here. I'll peel that off and take it off of here. It doesn't look like it's left any, that one bit left any residue. So that's cool, can keep this. Not necessarily the season I just decorated for the December holidays. But this looks cool. I like the bats. There's white bats too. Black bats. Cute. And then Olivia on the back. So that's really neat. I'm keeping that. That's not going for recycling, even though it's in the standard recycling pile. All right. Tiny knife to the rescue there. Let's go ahead and check out our box hopper pack. The collector booster ones were all foils, but it didn't say non-foil on this one or foil on the other one. So all foils here for those box hopper packs. We have Dracula Blood Immortal. All right. Very cool. Very cool. So collector boosters have two set boosters. I'm assuming draft boosters will have just one. Uh, similar to Zendikar Rising, the draw of the collector boosters was two as well as foil possibilities. But it seems like they are all foil and you can find non-foils in the collector boosters. Curious if we can find them in other boosters. We'll just have to find out, of course. Let's get started with pack one. We have our art card. So it is an 81 card set. I know I'm holding it upside down, but 81 card art set. Remember the days of Modern Horizons, where it was just 52 or so? Definitely a much more manageable set back in the day, but I do like art cards, so I can't complain too much. Larger sets, at least we're getting art cards. I do like them. They're fun additions. Showcases. Kessig Wolf Riders, our first rare. Nibblegast Beguiler, foil. And an explanation of the list. All right, so uncommons, commons, foils, regular showcases, regular rares. Dracula can go right in the middle. I think this is a good setup. Let's continue here, pack two. And of course, we'll do our recap at the end. Ooh, so we do get those alternate art Dracula cards as art cards. Ooh, nice. We have Mina Harker here by Magali Villeneuve. Beautiful art. Showcase. We have Commander Rare here, Hollow Henge Overlord. 
That was a big wolf. Torrens, Fist of the Angels, rare. Supernatural Rescue, foil. So just like Midnight Haunts, we can find Commander exclusive rares in these set boosters. This is a crazy serpent, Bioloom Serpent. Voldaren Bloodcaster and Gas a uh, Geistlight Snare foil. Do have the signature art cards. This is Dream Shackle Geist by Andreas Zafirantos, number 22 of 81. We'll get that sleeved up after we finish this pack. Ooh, Wedding Ring, Commander Mythic, Dying to Serve in Cradle of Safety Foil, Witch's Eye from Theros. It's our first card off the list. These packs don't feel different. I know I mentioned that's something I wanted to check, but since it didn't feel different, I guess my brain didn't register it as like a conscious thought. I just went straight into opening it. Oh, look at these lambs. These are cute. Ancestors Embrace. Cute. Yeah, the set booster packs do not feel different than normal. Not sure why the collector boosters do. The collector booster packs are also oddly foily themselves. They look nice. Voldaren Estates, rare. Flame Blast Bolt. Some showcase cards here. Falconrath Forebear, rare. Infestation Experts. And that double sided token. Well, double faced. Co token for double faced cards. It's not actually a double sided token, but that was what I was trying to convey. So we have an Abrade reprint. The Collector Boosters were my first time taking a good look at this set, so I wasn't aware of that. Storm Carved Coast, rare. And Blood Craze Socialite, showcase foil common. Hour of Devastation was the first set that released after I first started being here at Titan. Back when I was just here every so often while I was in university. I helped Bossman open it, sort it, put in the binders. That's how I learned about rarity symbols. And so I have a fondness for those sets because that's actually what drew me to magic in the first place is I first started noticing magic with Amonkhet because I love Egyptian themed stuff. So I saw Amonkhet and I was like, that's super cool. And that's what really brought me into the magic world. So seeing a braid there, it was a weird moment of like, oh, that's nice. But I feel like you guys needed context for why I felt it necessary to point out, oh, we have it a braid reprint. <laughs> That's a cool art card here. Is that Edgar's Coffin? It is, Edgar Markov's Coffin by Vulcan Baga. Ooh, you know, I should look and see what playmats came in. I know I'm just addicted to the Niv mat, but like what playmats are here for Crimson Vow? Howling Moon Rare and Fearful Villager. Because when the playmats go up for pre-order, there's no images, of course, because it's extremely far ahead. Like, the Kamigawa Neon Dynasty playmats went up for order a while ago, and then I think last week the Streets of New Capenna playmats went up for order. So you just have to order them blind. So we have no idea what those are going to look like, and I'm not really in the shop anymore, so when everything came in today, I don't know if the playmats came in today or they're coming later this week. Uh, but So if they're here, I haven't seen them. But hey, we have a Thalia art card. I'm curious. There's a lot of really sick art in this set. Might have to pick up some more playmats. Because I still like buying the playmats that tickle my fancy just to have them. Even though I exclusively use the Niv mat now. We have Loyal Apprentice is a commander card. Commander 2018. And I'm curious what they got. If they have Soren. I would think the Soren playmat would be in high demand. There's a lot of sick art here. I'm loving this set visually. 
Haven't been able to try it out in arena or anything, playing paper, stuff like that, but at least visually, great set. Can't speak to the power level itself. Howl Pack Piper, Serpentine Ambush. That's the second giant snake card we've seen. First being the, the sea snake, but not what I would be expecting from a set about a wedding. <laughs> it's like, why we got big snakes? And we also have some big slugs. Tox, real mythic. It's a giant slug horror. Dream Root Cascade. Beautiful lands here. It's our first borderless card. Aside from Dracula. Sigarda's Summons that I dropped backwards. And Bride's Gown. Let's take a look at Olivia's dress. It's a very, it's a big statement piece there. I like it. I don't know that I'd wear it. It's a bit much, but I like, I like the non-traditionalness of it. It's like yellow, just black wedding dress. Go for it. I mean, we have a card called Edgar Markov's Coffin. Is it a wedding and a funeral? I'm curious. I know one of the taglines, I think on the bundle was United in Unholy Matrimony. But I haven't been able to check out any of the lore. I still haven't been able to look at the lore from Midnight Hunt. I, I forgot to look, to be completely honest. But I want to know what's going on. All I know is there's a wedding. Soren looks like he really doesn't want to be there except for anything besides snacks. Chandra puts on a really fancy dress in the borderless card. I haven't seen the regular art. So I, I am really contextualist here. Uh, but I'd like to learn more. Unfortunately, they don't have those little booklets in the bundles anymore. Because then I can at least look at all the cards. Now it's like, oh, you should go look at the gatherer. It's like, no, I want you to print me a nice little booklet. I have a small collection of them from when they still made the booklets. Do you have another art card here? Voldaren Estates, I think, is this one. It is by Richard Wright. Phoenix Wright. That is our second signed art card. And of course, those are facsimile stamps. They are not hand signed, but it is the artist's signature printed on the card. I thought she had like a little olive as like a snack, but it's actually just an eyeball. Art here by Samuel Araya. I love it. I mean, it's gory. I don't like the I don't like the eyeball on a toothpick, but just the actual art style itself, that is. I like that. I like that style. Samuel Araya. I'll have to look up his stuff afterwards. Ooh, nice stuff like the design. I'm sure we saw them in the collector boosters, but I must admit, wasn't paying too, too much attention to the commons and uncommons, because we saw so many of them, they all kind of blended in together. I was focused on the extended arts and enjoying those. But, ooh, that is beautiful. Oh, we have a foil mountain. Hello there, foil basic. We have Jacob Hawkin, Inspector, Showcase Mythic. Deathcap Glade, Fierce Retribution, and Lunar Avenger from Fifth Dawn. We are almost at the halfway point here for this box. Dying to Serve, I believe. Yeah, Dying to Serve is the name of the card. I find that humor. They have zombie, zombie servants dying to serve. Great flavor. I love it. Change of Fortune and Syncopate foil. Does that have... No, nah, I, I just saw the blonde slash white hair. I was like, that's not Soren. That makes no sense. Why is Soren on a blue card? Because he's not. No more you know. This is a cool art card. What is this? Demonic Bargain by Sam Gay. Same spelling as Rebecca Gay, I think. Not sure if they're related. Three showcase cards in a row there. Ill-Tempered Loner, Desperate Farmer, and Early Harvest from... Why am I forgetting the set name with the palm tree? Oh, shame on you, Allie. Oh, what is the palm tree set? It's on the tip of my tongue. Why am I like this? I can only look at it and think about how at my house we have a Christmas tree that's just the palm tree. As if I couldn't get more Florida, right? It's a palm tree with lights. 
We got on Black Friday many, many years ago at Bell's Outlet, which is like a Florida store. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of because I just I just decorated on Monday night. So everything's all fresh. I like it. We got a bunch of Pikmin because that obviously makes sense for Christmas, right? Pikmin. A tinsel dinosaur, a little mini tree. Herschel Squirts meme reference on the shelf. Holiday Funko Pops, which of which I need to get more of this year's, but I haven't seen them at my local stores yet. Mirage! I did it! Oh my goodness, that took way too long. Shame. Dread Feast Demon. Wash Away. Allergies have been tearing me up recently. I keep waking up and I'm like, why are my eyes itchy? And I'm like, oh, that's a sign today is not going to be a great day. Otherwise, it has been pretty nice. It has been nice. I've been really enjoying these cards, except for the occasional, like, sniffle, occasional cough. This is like, ugh, gross. I'm still very, I feel very, very awkward. I mean, I did before because I was like, I always feel like it's annoying. I always feel like I'm annoying people if I would cough. But, like, especially past two years, it's like, I don't want to cough. People are going to think I'm diseased. So, it's like, Allie, get your allergies out of here. But I know 100% it's allergies. Like I said, my eyes are very itchy. Uh, it's like rolling the dice, especially as of late. It just feels like every other day or something, I'm like, why are the allergies bothering me today when I was fine yesterday? But we have Hollowed Haunting for our first Mythic of the Box. Showcase Foil, Wedding Security, Vampire Soldier. And a little mini game. I've never actually played any of the mini games, and you know what? I disrespectfully forgot to sleeve our Voldaren estate. Ooh, look at that R card from one of the basics. Planes. Yeah, I mean, I guess out of any of the lands, that would be a planes, but that's not. I don't know what I was expecting when I flipped it over, because like I said, it, it planes fits the best, but that doesn't look like a traditional planes. There, there's a lot going on that's not just open space of land, but like I said, I don't know what I expected. Cemetery Illuminator is our second mythic of the box, and Witch's Web foil. Yeah, I was like, I put the, the, the microphone back on, right? Yes, I did. I did. That'd be awkward. It'd be like four minutes of silence. Foil planes, there it is. Hello, planes, my old friends. Hello, planesness. Patchwork crawler, lightning wolf foil. There's Edgar Markov. Yep, Edgar Charmed Groom. Now, I have a lore question in general. If anyone knows, feel free to fill me in in the comment section down below. Now, Edgar, to my understanding, is Soren's dad. Who is Soren's mom? Dream Shacklegeist. Pyre Spawn. Is he, is he a pure blood vampire of the Markov line or. There's some line mixing with the Voldarens in there. I know that Edgar is getting married to Olivia. Not sure why. It's like I said, Box says unholy matrimony. It seems like a political marriage. Maybe my fundamental issue is that I think that Edgar is Soren's dad and he's not. Maybe it's like an older brother. I don't know. Who is Soren's mom? Moving along, we do have the wedding dress. Let's look at it closer up. That is cool. It's got some nice purples in it. it. This is the part that's a bit much. Honestly, if it was just the, it's just that, it just looks like a very evil dress and it looks cool. I like it. I like the dress. I don't like the weird hooks. The thing is though, being, I mean, I see blood spatter, right? The blood spatter on the, uh, the window in the background. Being a vampire, this is very convenient because, like, if you're you you know you're at your wedding, got your hair done, you got your makeup done, you're like, I don't want to, I don't want to get blood on my face, you know, just randomly attacking a civilian. I could just stab them with my dress, just, and then turn around and go, mmm, tasty. It does seem convenient. 
Just for a human being, that's very unnecessary. For a vampire, I'm just saying. Doomweaver, Commander, Old Rutstein. That was a shoegaze. Oh, that was a mythic. The Jacob was a mythic. That shoegaze rare. Hamlet Vanguard, rare. And laid to rest foil. Too much hair in my face. That's a cool art card. What is that? Thirst for Discovery. Star Trek fans waiting for a new season of Discovery. <laughs> Cemetery Prowler. Bioloom Egg Foil. Get it? You're thirsting for the next season of Discovery. Thirst for just. If I had to explain the joke, it's probably not funny. I don't know why I've been so weird in these Innistrad videos today. I had Final Fantasy references in the other one. I had Harry Potter references in the other one. And like all this stuff just comes to mind and I'm like, I should share. And then I'm like, yeah, but what if people don't understand what I just said and they think I'm a big weirdo? Which I probably think, I mean, it wouldn't be a wrong thought. I embrace it, but Mirage Phalanx and Dream Root Cascade, Parasitic Grasp Foil, It doesn't look like it's binding her up too well. Sigarda's imprisonment. I mean, I guess it's working, but. Ah, I'm wondering. Oh, the Crimson Ballroom received some unexpected guests. The story spotlights. So I guess the werewolves crashed the wedding. Okay. The festivities are over when the big old wolves broke in. I would think so too. Even if they were just normal wolves and they weren't werewolves, I think that would still end things. Olivia can stab the wolves with her dress. She just needs to fall backwards on them and they get stabbed. Easy. GG, werewolves. My dress. Gotcha. Gluttonous guest and Raven Familiar from 13? It is 2013 there. I think that's the original Commander logo. Is the Commander cards you can cheat and look at the bottom left and it'll say C, C number. But I think that's 13, because it does have a 2013 copyright date on it. So I think that's Commander 13. But I guessed 13 before I checked. I didn't cheat. I promise. Now, you guys saw me not... I mean, it doesn't tell you what it is, but you guys saw me stare at that Mirage card for way too long. And I was like, aha, I figured it out. Uh, Parasitic Grasp. Is that the same? It is. It is the same art. I was like, that looks different, but it's not. Ali's visual comprehension is not on point today, it seems. Graph Reaver and Welcoming Vampire, Foil Rare. It's our first Foil Rare of the box. Hey, Faithless Looting. What set is that? I don't know what that is. No, I don't know what that is. Let me know what that is in the comments down below. That is not looking familiar to me whatsoever. Oop. Ooh, I have a foil island behind this art card. How did Chandra get invited to the wedding? Like, who knew her? Be like, yo, come to this wedding. Or was it just like a big event? Everybody could come? I don't know. Hullbreaker Horror? No, it can't be a big event where everybody's there. Because there's that one card where it's like the two, the couple of vampires are like, Oh my god, we got invited to Olivia's wedding. Or Zova, the Church of Deals. What kind of deals? Unlike most churches at Orzova, it is best to pray before you arrive, says the flavor text. That's from Guild Pack. So Orzova, I'm assuming, is the church of the Orzov. Like, what are the deals? Sounds like the church is making deals and you're just getting taxed. I don't know. You have the Olivia art card. Crimson Bride. Plains Foil. Cool art there. Samuel Oriah. I was like, that's a cool style. Again, same same artist. Headless Rider. And Edgar Charmed Groom. Foil Rarer. 
Purse win from Battle Bonds. We got Battle Bond cards on the list now? Interesting. All right, second to last pack of the set booster. It's a cool card. Splendid Reclamation. Ah, I was like, that's red in seven. Doing, doing green things. I don't know what that card does. I've seen it multiple times today, but I have not read it. Straffen, Mar Progenitor. That is another Commander Mythic. Jacob Hawkin, Inspector, regular Mythic. Moldgraf Millipede, Foil. All right, one last pack here. And then we'll get on into our recap after I tidy everything on up, of course. Do, do, do. Oh, cool ghosts there. Geist, perhaps. Hollowed Haunting. Hey, look at that. We have a foil borderless coming on up. Inspired idea in Sundown Pass. This actually is the one that I haven't seen yet. I like it. They look like gates. I mean, I know it's the formation, the rock formation there, but it looks like gates. That's cool. Foil. Borderless land. Alrighty, that wraps off this set booster box. Let me get all of our piles tidied on up here. This thing just looks super cool. I like this. There's a nice little feature here of the set boosters. That's that's nifty. That's nifty. I wonder if the draft booster is going to have anything. Be cool if they did. Be a lot cooler if it did. All right. Tidying up our piles. Then we'll get into our recap. Just two foil rares and that borderless foil rare. So I suppose that counts for something, huh? But not as many foil rares as I would have expected. Alrighty. Yeah, this is close enough to being organized. All right, so we did have two of the signature stamped art cards. Dream Shackle Geist and Voldaren Estate. Did have three Commander Rares, Hollowhenge Overlord, Doomweaver, and Mirage Phalanx. We also had two Mythics, Wedding Ring and Straffen, Mara Progenitor. Just two Showcase Foils, both not Rares or Mythics, Blood Craze Socialites and Wedding Security. However, showcase, we did find a rare and a mythic in the Eternal Knight style, Old Rutstein and Jacob Hawken Inspector. Box Stopper Foil here was Dracula, Blood Immortal. And we did not find any of the non foils, so I wonder if those are collector booster exclusives. Sort of how, like, other, other sets we've had buy a box promos like the Rin and Sari being in non foil in the collector boosters only. So I wonder if it's like that. I wonder if it's like that. I most recently have Zendikar Rising on the Brain with box stoppers having foils only in collector boosters and non-foils and everything else as box stoppers. But they're all foils this time, so my brain has been a little bit off about it. But that's probably probably like that, like the buy a boxes with the non-foils and collectors only. Welcoming Vampire and Edgar Charmed Groom, regular foil rares. We also had a borderless foil land, Sundown Pass, and a non-foil Dream Root Cascade. It's a beautiful card. Such a beautiful card. Just four regular mythics in this box. We did have two commander mythics and a showcase mythic, but four regulars. Ha uh, Hollowed Haunting, Cemetery Illuminator, Cemetery Prowler, and Jacob Hawkin, regular art. Didn't have a total of eight cards from the list, including at least one rare with Purr's Whim. Not sure on what this originally was, Early Harvest. But it didn't have at least one rare from the list with Purr's Whim, originally from Battle Bond. Speaking of rares, though, let's go ahead and pan through our regular rares. Didn't have a Hole Breaker Horror. Dream Root Cascade. Deathcap Glade is also beautiful. I do like the borderless version a bit better. This one has a lot of mushrooms. That's probably where the death part comes from. And don't touch the mushrooms. Unless you really know what you're doing, that's a, that's a good thing to live by, in my opinion. Don't eat random fruits and vegetables you find out in the forest. Or mushrooms. Most likely, it's gonna 
I feel like most likely that's not going to go very well unless you're like a Boy Scout, you know, all the stuff, or you got like a little guidebook. I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even touch it. I didn't touch it. Anyways, weird tangent about mushrooms here at the end of the video, but that does it for the set booster box. Really enjoyed seeing the art cards. Do want to see, I know we saw the Mira, right? Was that her name? Mina. Mina. Not Mira. Mina, like from twice. <laughs> but anyways, I did like that we saw this art cards. It makes me wonder if I can make a full set, if they are available here, or maybe just select. It is an 81 card set, and there's a lot of cool stuff here, so... Makes sense that the art card sets are so large nowadays. Oh, I know we have a mix of regular arts in the set. Did have some showcases there. You know, of course, from that Dracula series, we do have the Mina. So, curious if the whole Dracula series is available in art cards. That would be another alternative way for me to collect them all. I'm still bouncing back and forth whether I want to get foil, non-foil, get it at all. Just look at them from afar. But if I can get them all in art cards, that seems like the most value play make a full set of those but yeah that does it here for the set booster box up next i'll be checking out a draft booster here's to see if the draft booster will have something like this it'd be cool if it had a different one i have a feeling that it might just have another one of these but it'd be cool to see more than one style of this little little box topper pack presenter slash postcard i do like this that's a neat feature i'm gonna leave it on the olivia side I wasn't expecting that at all, so I really like that. Overall, really enjoying this set from an art perspective. So I was mentioning either earlier this video or during the collector boosters, I haven't a chance to had a chance to play any of these, let alone read more than like six cards. So I'm not too sure on power level or anything like that, but you guys have been eating up those pre-release kits like nobody's business off the website. And we do have a lot scheduled for this weekend. So I'm not the only person that's really excited about really cool vampires. So excited to eventually get to play with these cards see how it goes just looking at the cards though visually i'm loving this set so i hope you guys are as well because i'm not done opening up crimson vow here this evening but yes that does it for me here tonight on set boosters i hope you all well not actually because we have set boosters in the bundle the set booster box though let's go ahead and errata that set booster boxes that's all we're here for set booster boxes here tonight so if you guys enjoyed it make sure you go ahead and hit that like button comments for me drop those down below and if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, I'd love to have you join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here and into that draft booster box, do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have 12 Black Label fans, Anded, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, Devon, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kara Sotari, Mark Mardini, MT, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also have nine Gemmint fans. Barco Verer, Dusty Archuleta, Jerry Etchie Geek, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Ryan Michael, Scorecard Collectibles, Sinvicta, and William Hastings. So thank you so much to all, all of our channel members. Really appreciate each and every one of you. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But yes, for set booster entire box, that is it here tonight. Up next, draft booster, and we'll be finishing things on off here with a bundle. Now with this video, all three notifications have went out for the evening. So if you're waiting around for more notifications for the draft booster and the bundle to go up, they won't be here because YouTube only does three videos in a 24 hour period. So and those will be here on the channel later tonight. Might just have to check back. Uh, there'll be a playlist up here on screen when the channel member stuff is showing. So click on that for quick, easy access to the other Crimson Vow openings here on the channel. But thank you so much for watching this one, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye.